this is a great time to make this video, but if you clicked on this video, you already know I've made numerous videos on the Hyson 550 and they all have been good, but today you're seeing I'm having trouble with it. I think you need to buy at least one of these things to save from buying the other thing I'm about to show you. So make this short and sweet. Uh, one day I was driving it down the road uh, and it just started backfiring just a little bit. I was like, that's weird. So then on my way back home, it started, it felt like I was losing power the more I gave it gas. So now I wouldn't trust it to go down the driveway. But, so I got to taking it apart. I'll show you what I've done after this little intro here. But, uh, I seen they don't come with uh, an inline filter on the gas line straight to the injector. So that's one big problem. So any dirt and debris coming right out of your tank, yeah, it has a screen in the bottom of the tank, but that doesn't hardly do anything. Our shop's right by the highway, so we gotta deal with that too. But yeah, I'm gonna put an inline filter on it. I think it was uh, 30 micron. That's all I could find at Real King. Lower the better, but that's better than none. So I think my injector's bad. So it's cutting out backfiring I don't hardly want to run so i'm hoping that's fixed going to fix the issue hopefully i bought the right injector there's two holes and four holes but i've looked it up a couple different sites say use this use that so i bought the two holes so hopefully when we take this out it's the two hole but if not i'll have to send it back get a new one but i'm going to try to fix this sputtering and cutting out so that's what this video is all about and let's tear into it. So guys, here, when you take the seat off, you got a battery box, all the panels are in the floorboard, but you can see down there, all that. And then you got the tank over there. And then one of these lines here goes back to the injector. I don't know what that says. Uh, and you come back here, right where this bar is at. Injectors right here. Looks like it's this two Allen screws. Need to pop this sensor off. But uh, I'm showing you where it's at. Hopefully it's a two hole because that's what I bought. But uh, let's get into this, turn it apart, seeing if it fixes it. But I'm gonna fire it up real quick and see if it's still spitting and sputtering. Battery is dead, but. This listen, it's, it has trouble starting now. It's fuel injected, should fire right up. But I'll see if I can get it backfiring stuff like it's doing so you know. See, it, we don't want to start. Get it where I can give her some gas a little bit. I was giving it gas and it died. Yeah, it, just, it does not want to run. It's backfiring. I've seen where the injectors clog up and stuff like that. And there's no, I've got to digging around that hose. Let's see, it's right there. We're gonna put a filter on it. Hopefully this fix it, guys. And if it don't, and I figure it out, I'll definitely make another video, but I'm pretty sure this has gotta be it. But we'll find out. All right, everyone, let's try to get this injector out. I've never done it. Don't look too hard, but every time I've said that, nothing goes well, but let's try it anyway. Here. So, pull this 
gray thing here up. Let's get this sensor off. Put that somewhere where we can lose it. And then I think you lift this tab up. Maybe not. It's gonna be a pain probably. Come on. There we go. So you push on the top and it pulls that release. Get it out of the way. They got them junk hose clamps that crimp on kind. I hate them, so I'm gonna change that. Then we gotta figure out how we're gonna cut it, but I guess let's break it loose. Probably get gas everywhere. But it'll be alright. Thank God, I bought the right one, it's a two hole. Man, that was bad, that's a lot of dirt. Let's see if I figure out how to get it out. Should just pull right down, I'm guessing. <clears throat> yep, gas went everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna get some of that luby dooby squirt down in that hole. There's a lot of dirt down in there. I mean, by looking at it, it doesn't look messed up, but it could be this smallest dirt clogging that up. I'm gonna make a little bit more mess. I'm gonna turn the key on, cycle some gas out of the line in case there was dirt behind it. You don't have to do it much. You probably seen it went everywhere, but it's just a good thing to do to get that old gas out. I'm gonna get some lube here. Spray down in there, get that dirt out. Get that all washed down in there. I got the new one. By the looks of it, they look exactly the same. By looking at it now, I know you won't be able to see it on camera. That one hole looks clogged up, so hopefully that does it. Let's get it in there. Let's get this put back in there. It smells like gas.
going to turn it on. See if there's any gas coming out. See if we got a good seal on it. Well, I don't see no gas coming out. Let's get that filter on there. So where it's at and uh, me having to get in here, it's hard to see, so I couldn't film it. But I cut it right here before the injector. And then I cut back some of this tubing. I'm gonna put that filter right there. And uh, hose clamp it up. Should be good to go. All you have to do is cut a zip tie under here. It lets that hose fall down. Uh, let me get this filter on. I gotta go get hose clamps because all mine's too big, but I'm gonna put the filter on. Hopefully it ain't that pressure, blow it off, but we'll see if it idles better. Hopefully that fixes it and I save you a whole lot of trouble, but go ahead and put that filter on, even if you're not having this trouble to save you in the long run. But the fuel injector is about 32 bucks off Amazon. I'll put the link below so you can have that, but uh, I'm gonna get this buttoned up and we'll fire it up. So I got it on there. That's what it looks like. Can't hardly see it, but the flow arrow is going to the injector. So I'm gonna pump her up with some fuel. See if that bulb fills up or if the hoses blow off. Nothing's blowed off yet. Go back around here. And you can see she's full of fuel. I guess let's give her a test fire, see what happens here. Hopefully she's fixed, fingers crossed. Well, everybody, get that off of there. You can already, it, it already sounds way better. Uh, they had all that uh, PB and stuff in it while well, I scrolled it out. It is sounding better. Idling a lot better. heard before it wouldn't even stay up running it's got good fuel in it oh that sounds good i'll give her a quick rev up for you no more backfire so folks, I'd say nine out of 10 times, if you're having loss of power, cutting out, you need, you need to go down there, Rural King, get you a fuel filter, get on Amazon where that link's at. And I bet your injector's clogged up because you could kind of tell mine was. But I'm gonna button this up, may do a test drive for you. Depends if it's still raining. But all together, it probably took me 13 minutes to do it all. Especially it took with that filter, it took me three minutes. So that'll save you in the long run. It took two and a half years to clog that injector, but might as well save your butt and change a, a fuel filter every year. I'd rather do that. They're a lot cheaper. <music>
Wish me luck it's fixed, could because I need to start using this thing. Here we go. About right now, it should be cutting out real bad. We'll find out when we get on the road. He's cutting out, won't run, won't idle, put a fuel filter on it and buy an injector, the link's below. That fixed it, I'm happy because I was real worried about it. Thanks for watching. Well everyone, I hope this video really helped you out and it took a lot of stress off my shoulders because I still got, I got wood to get up out of the woods and stuff like that. But you know, summing up this video, it would not run, it would run, but you had to floor it and keep it running. That ain't normal. Uh, sputtering, backfiring, you know, turn it off after it's done backfiring, turn it back on, it'll idle just fine until you try to take off and it's like, and you know, you got it floored and it ain't going nowhere. So nine times out of 10, you probably got dirt in your injector. So go on to Amazon. Get you a fuel injector for a Heisen 550. I'll have it down in the description below where I got mine. Uh, fuel filter. The smaller the Micron, the more it filters out. I got a 30. It was that real king for like $6.99. I end up buying four because I'm going to change it every year because I'd rather buy $6.99 than a $30 injector. So there's at least three more years of clean fuel. So I hope this video really helped you out. As you can tell, it, as soon as I fired it up, ran way better. So I hope you just go ahead and put that fuel filter on because that saved me. And I'm glad it's running good because I use this thing quite a bit. So thanks. Please like and subscribe, share, get this out there because it happens more often than not. Thanks.